welcome back everyone and uh, welcome to the second episode of this animation series so uh, this is in continuation of uh, the animation series which i started uh, i guess uh, last to last week and uh, this is the second one so in the first episode we covered that what is animation what is animation controller and all those basic stuff so this series is basically from uh, some basic stuff to the complex stuff so um, in this episode we will try to cover some more animation we will see that how this actually works so we saw an example in the last episode as well and uh, today also we will see an example and I, I will not waste a lot of your time but um, we'll try to figure it out that uh, how to achieve any kind of of animation so today we, we we are going to achieve this animation which i'm just going to show you so just see the simulator so as you can see here there is a, a container okay this is not the i don't know why this is not working one second okay so if i'll just open this then you will see there is a container which comes from the left and goes to the right so this is kind of an animation which we want to uh, achieve today and uh, let me just show you again if I can show so once again guys and yes so as you will see there is a green container which will come one second and which goes so this is very difficult to control the simulator from the gestures so that's why it is taking some time let me show you one more time so if you will just see it then there is a container coming from left and goes to the right this is what we are going to achieve i'm not going to explain everything from the uh, start so first of all we need a container so in the body part we will have a container and that is in the center so we will uh, have a center child container and we will give it a height of let's say 200 and the width of let's say 200 and then we will give it a color okay so color would be color start green okay so this is what we have now let me just show you what we have uh, so this is so this is what we have now a container and this is the same container which i showed you in the beginning and uh, what we want we want to animate it so if you remember from that episode and if you don't know then you should watch uh, that episode of mine I will put that link in the card on the top and uh, also the source code will be uh, on github so check in the description and uh, if you have more questions then, subs uh, then uh, subscribe to the channel and also join the let's flutter with dart group on facebook okay now let's proceed so first of all we will implement the ticket provider mixing so we can make it single ticket provider mixing because we have a single animation as as of now and uh, for mixing we are using this with keyword okay now um, we want few uh, let's say first first of all we want an animation controller so we can just say um, let's call it animation controller okay and animation controller this is nice and we want one animation as well so animation okay now we will try to implement the init state uh, then we will override this method and then we will initialize our animation controller so animation controller new animation controller now it takes a vsync okay so we have already talked about all of these things so i'm not going to explain that then i will go and give some duration to it let's say two seconds okay you can change the duration if you want now after that uh, i'll initialize this animation okay and this is going to be a twin animation okay i have already explained what is twin it takes a begin value so let's give it minus 1.0 and it also takes a end value let's give it 0, 0.0 so that it can come from left to the center okay so, so it's now just coming from the left from this left to this center only okay so this is just one animation then we will perform it another time and now we can say dot animate and it will take a curved animation here so we can use curved animation and now in the curved animation we can pass the curve or the parent so parent is our animation controller and if you are not aware of any of these then you should watch my first video of this series and then we can in the curves we will use the curve fast out slow in so if you will just see it then maybe 
it will give you an idea that starts quickly and eases into the finals position so it's like it comes quickly and then it's it's, it's like it slows down a little bit okay so this is the fast out slow in so if you want to see the graph then i guess you can go inside or maybe if you are using android studio or intellij then you can i guess uh, see that graph quickly but this is the value of it and uh, maybe you can go here and you can watch it so let me just try and open it so as you can see this is fast out slow in so just wanted to show you that this is how it looks okay so um that's one thing now um we can use this so now we are ready with our animation and uh, so what we need to do so here we will use an animated builder so if you don't know about animated builder then there is a video about animated builder as well from my flutter weekly widget so you can watch it there so what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap all of this using an animated builder so um i will use animated builder okay now this animated builder takes an animation so in the animation i'll pass the animation controller and then in the builder part it takes a context uh, it gives a context and a child and then we can directly use something like this and we can remove this child keyword and yes we are ready with our animated builder now um if i'll just uh, perform a hot restart then it should fix this yes so it's fine but still we cannot see any animation that's happening because uh, we have to provide some value to height and width if we want but but we don't want to change its height or width what we want to change its its, its position so what we are going to do we will um, again wrap this uh, uh, center widget with another widget so let me just use that so the widget is transform so transform will give me some flexibility about uh, um, let's have the childless children of this and after this center we can just use transform so transform has this uh, uh, transform property where you can um, use this matrix for dot uh, columns collapse translation and everything so we want to translate it so we can provide some translation values x y and z axis values so we can use something like this so what we want to do if you remember the animation we are just changing the x axis not the y or the z so we can leave y as 0.0, .0 and z as 0, 0.0 for x what we can do we want it f uh, coming from the left to right okay so we can just give it the animation uh, dot value okay but it will not work let's let's try first and then we will see so let's try a hot restart and you will see nothing actually happened because uh, we haven't start our animation to start our animation in the init state after uh, initializing this we can just say animation controller dot forward okay so that it can start our animation we will perform a hot restart again because we want to go through the init state again and now also you can see that nothing actually happened because the value of animation value if you will see that it is from minus 1 to 0, 0.0 so that means that minus 1 to 0, 0.0 there was not not much change so what i want to do because i want to cover the whole screen that is the that is that it will come from the left end to the right end so that means the whole width okay so to cover the whole width i want the width value so i can use this width using the media query class and i will pass the context dot size dot uh, width it will give me the width and now i will multiply this animation value to the width okay and now if i'll do the hot restart then you will see that uh, this animation comes from the left to center now i want it to move from center to right as well okay so for that what i can do so um this animation can be attached with if i will use this cascade cascade notation then uh, i can just use the add status listener so now i can provide a listener to um to see that if this animation is completed then we can perform some other animation okay so um we what we can say here um my listener okay so my listener 
and now we need to make this my listener so I can just make a method here void my listener okay and it will take give us the status okay now we can check check for the status and because of this animator builder we don't have to call set state or everything anything because this animator builder will take care of uh, all the animation without using set state okay now here we can check if this status is animation um, status dot completed so if it is completed what we can do so basically we will uh, reset this animation okay and what we will do we will copy this code from here to here okay or from here to here at least and we will change its value from minus 1 to 0 to 0 to 1 okay and then after that we can just use this dot forward okay so what we are doing we are just checking if it is completed okay and so there are a lo lot of checks you can do if it is dismissed okay and if it is like forward or if it is reverse so that's what you can do okay and now um we will uh, re re uh, restart it hot restart and then we will see it came from the left to right and then goes right so this is what we wanted to perform and every time you can see this is uh, repeating itself because every time it is getting completed then um, it is starting again okay so um, that's that's the problem we need to fix that as well okay so again so what's what's the reason so the reason is that after the completion of this status uh, what we are doing we have to remove the listener as well so we can just say remove status listener and we can pass the listener so once that will be done then uh, we will not listen to this again and it will not uh, uh, do the same thing again and again so now if i will restart this then you will see this error will go okay there was some issue with restart so we need to restart it again okay let's do one more time and now if i will it came from the left goes to right and that's it okay so this is how you can achieve animation and you can again with this animation also you can append a, another status listener so this is just a basic animation this is called an easing animation so we'll cover more animations very soon and uh, this is the very basic stuff so don't worry about uh, implementing complex animations we will do that as well in the future videos so thank you so much guys for watching and if you enjoyed then definitely subscribe to this channel and also make sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video thank you bye bye take care have a good day